Who gave me lashes that are not me? Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to your old hey girl, welcome back. As you read by that title, y'all, I am dropping my long awaited lash tutorial. Everybody in the comments on TikTok was eating me up, like telling me to drop this lash tutorial. Every time I go out, people give me so many compliments on my lashes and be asking me who did them. Like, y'all, I really be doing my own lash clusters. Everything that y'all will need to do your lash clusters will be in the description box down below, linked in my Amazon storefront. And if you are from tiktok y'all comment you came from tiktok okay just comment y'all came from tiktok we are here we are here we are here finally after all these comments i am going to try my best to record this here process because y'all it's not really necessarily a good way to like record me doing lashes i'm gonna try my best i am starting off with a clean base usually i wash my lashes before i get started but at this point i don't feel like it but if you feel like it, you could wash your lashes. Get all that oil and dirt off your lashes. We're gonna get straight into everything that I use. I did have to order some more lashes. This is a new pack of lashes from, I don't know how you say this. It's F-O-C-I-P-E-Y-S-A. This is the one, the ones that I got is 100A. Remember, when y'all go to order y'all lash clusters. So inside of the package you get the lash clusters you get this here tweezers it comes with this little paper thing don't need that and it comes with oh they got new packaging y'all hold on let me show y'all my old one this is the old one this is the new one it got like rhinestones on it okay they upgraded uh, period the only thing i would say is it only comes with bond and remover so i had to go out my way to buy some lash sealant these lashes they're really fluffy like really soft really fluffy they feel like human lashes like they so soft i can't even tell y'all how soft they are but like, i really wish y'all could like feel this right now like, the lash millimeters are 18 16 14 12 and 10. this is my old one this right here i have bought in december of 2023 and i had a lash set each month i think i got four lash sets out of this here one little thing and this is nine dollars so i got four lash sets for nine dollars they only last a week you could probably push for two weeks if you feel like adding clusters that fill out okay sealant that i use this sealant is fat band i don't know i just found it on amazon i was just looking up lash sealants and i had seen this one i just bullies tweezers these are i think kiss tweezers from the beauty supply store somebody also has said that asked like what kind of lash clusters i suggest for them out of the beauty supply store because they didn't want to order nothing off tiktok shop or amazon so if y'all want me to do like a series where i do lash clusters from different locations different places trying out different lashes so that y'all don't have to y'all let me know in the comments down below and i'll start that series for y'all i got me a fan i really don't use it it don't burn my eyes at all like the glue do not burn my eyes these here spikes are from the lash supply it's just regular spikes these are 18 mm 0.7 d curl it's currently unavailable on amazon so i'm gonna just have to like link another one just like this in the description for y'all but i only use like almost half of it for all four sets and this still lasted me so this probably will last me another four sets with this that's basically everything we'll need to get into this hair lash clusters i'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all can see a little bit also this hair lash set take around an hour to do so it don't take long the first thing i do is this is what it looks like I usually just take this and I apply it to the bottom of my lashes and I start at the outside so I try not to go more than one third of my eye. I take the lash bond and I dab it on the top just to create like this little dollop of bond so that I can dip my lash cluster just for extra support. I get my tweezers right here. And I just pick up a lash cluster 
And these lashes are very fluffy, like I said, nice and soft. So like right now, I got it picked up. And I'm just take it like the back of the lash and I'm gonna dip it in the glue. And I start at the outside with 18. I take the back of my tweezers and I usually just push it up. Usually I do around 3 18 mm. Then I move on to like 3 16, 2 14, 2 12, and 110. Then I go in with my spikes. Then I do a second layer of lash clusters. So it's three, three layers, okay? I'm gonna just add some more lash bond to, my own, to the top. I'm gonna go again. And I kind of like overlap the lash. So it's not like beside each other. It's like they're kind of overlapping each other. So I'm not sitting it right directly beside it. Just so that my lashes don't have any gaps in them. My bottom lash is stuck to my lash, y'all. Okay. Cool beans. Cool beans. I'm probably going to do four layers of 18mm today. And y'all, I don't be putting it like on my, my lash line because sometimes I get uncomfortable and I don't really like that. Oh, we wasn't even in focus. Just try not to like put the lash cluster on my waterline because if I close my eye and it's poking me, I'm get irritated and want to take them off. So make sure y'all don't put it close. Now with the little tweezers that they gave, I go in and I just squeeze it so that it's like... I squeeze my natural lashes and the lash clusters together so that they can stick. Now I'm kind of like moving into like the, the second section. 18 for one 18 because I'm doing four 18s today. Two 16, probably one 14. So it'll be one 18, two 16s, one 14 in the second section. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bind for that section. When I lay the lash clusters, I overlap them. So what I'm gonna do in this part when I'm putting the bind, natural lash, y'all. This is so freaking hard to explain. I'm kind of like putting it on my lash clusters. Not all the way down here, just the one that I laid last. So that when I overlap my next lash cluster, it could connect together. Y'all, y'all, we here. And I turn my lash bond up and down. Just because it's turning like this, I feel like it's gonna get one of my lash clusters and I don't want that. So I just go like this. And then I put some on this last lash clip. Just a little bit on my lash left. Going in with the last 18 mm. I use four 18 mm. I'm gonna go in with the two 16. I might do three 16s, y'all. We're gonna see. I'm gonna let y'all know in the comments. That's the first 16 mm. When I be doing my lashes, I usually just do like the first layer first on both eyes. Then I go in with the second layer on both eyes. Then I go in with the third layer on both eyes. I don't do one eye at a time. I just want both of them to look the same. What's that? The second 16 mm. Get the tweezers and squeeze. My lashes. Sometimes you gotta like adjust to like the tweezers just so that it's comfortable enough for you to pinch and add clusters and stuff. Just so that you don't poke yourself in the eye. I'm gonna go in with the uh -huh. I can move on to 14. So 4 18, 2 16s, 2 14s, 112, 110. That's what we're gonna do. Sometimes it changes, y'all, but um, overall for the most part. By the end of your, by the end of the set, all of them look the same to me. Shit. Okay, so in this moment, my glue have dried, y'all. This is what we got so far. Like, I feel like after the first layer, I could really stop, but I never do that. Okay, we're going into the last section. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. And then I'm gonna add some more to the top. Just about to have that situation again. I'm 
gonna do two 12s, one 10. Usually the first lash to fall off is my 10. And sometimes my 18, the very, very last 18. Those were the first ones to fall. Damn, I put myself in the eye again. My fingers are dry as fuck. last lash of the first layer okay that is the first the first layer of lashes i'm gonna go ahead and do the second eye on camera but i'm not gonna be talking because Okay, we are back. I finished the first layer. Now we're going to get into the second layer, which is the spikes. With this here layer, you're going to do basically the same thing, except for instead of putting the lash bond over your lashes like this, I'm putting it in certain spots. Okay, and this part, you can like put it wherever you want, as many as you want. Usually I do one row on each eye so i'm just opening it as well as i'm gonna put some of the bond on the top of the tray and i'm gonna take the lash spike dip it in the lash bond and put it directly on that spot that i added the bond literally i'm just adding the lash bond wherever i feel like it in multiple spots i usually don't take it all the way down though simply because honestly imagine having a spike all the way down here Okay, and then we just take the rest. Taking my tweezers, they're a little, they're a little sticky, so I'm just wipe them off. Grabbing up the spikes, dipping them in the lash glue, getting a little more comfortable, and I just place the lash spike wherever I feel like it, like so. Now, because the lash clusters are 18 mm as well, I usually go back and double that lash spike with another lash spike just so it, you can kind of see it. That's basically all I'm doing. Lash spike, dipping it in the lash spine. They're coming out cute already, like, bye! And like I said, I use one row for each eye. You don't have to use the whole entire row, but literally, I love that bold look that the spikes give. And now I'm going in on top of those spikes that I literally just put back here and doubling them up so that they look more longer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Like I said, it's not gonna match because obviously I don't know exactly where I'm placing the lash spikes at. So, We'll just get all get. Now we're going to get into the third and final layer before we seal all of this in. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the glue to the top of the tray. I'm not going to add no glue to my lashes at all. Only the top of the tray. This time, I am going to pick up the lash cluster, dip it, and then place it under my lash. That way, when I blink my eyes, my bottom lashes and my top lashes aren't getting stuck together. It's no glue whatsoever. And when I blink and go to sleep, I don't, they need not close shut. 
as far as like the mapping I always skip the 10th one, the number 10. I do 12. Sometimes I do 112 or 212s, 214s, 216, 3 or 1 or 2 18s. I don't know how it's going to go right now. We just got the C. So skip 10, go sh oh, skip 10, go straight to 12. And just put it at the bottom. I did 112. I'm going to do another 12. I might do 314. Second 14. Should I do two 14s or three? I'm gonna go ahead and do 16. Wait. No, I'm gonna do a 14. I'm gonna do three 14s. Probably two 16s. I feel like the layers is what gives it that wispy look. I could have added one more 10 right here, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna do 218. I did 216, so y'all do 116. Y'all can't even remember. Anyways, I'm doing 18 now. And I keep losing my grip on these lashes. I'm gonna do 116. I'm gonna do 118, y'all. Now I'm gonna do this, the third layer on this eye. I feel like I could have added a spike right in between here. Like one spike right here with an eight. Another 10 right here with an eight. I don't have no lashes right here, so they would have just fell off. Third layer. We on the third layer on the other eye. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Skip 10. We're on 12. It is on 12. What I do? 212, 314, 216s, and 118. Cool. We're gonna add the sealant. So sealant I always use and my lashes be lasting up to a week. I like to like hold down this and put it on there because if I don't, it's gonna get on the lashes and it's gonna turn white and I don't like that. And then just let this right here dry. That's that. I'm gonna add some bottom lash mascara. It's currently 1.14, y'all. Like, I really stayed up to do this YouTube video for y'all. Usually when I do my makeup, I just add bottom lash mascara. Here are the lashes. Done and complete. Detailed lash tutorial. We have to see every pore on my freaking face. So that is pretty much how I do my lashes, y'all. That was a long tutorial. <sighs> Your girl is tired. I did my hair today. I did my lashes. I got content to record tomorrow. I love these lashes. They be just so soft. Like y'all, I'm talking about soft. Like they're just so soft. And they just look so, so good. Like do I not look like a bad 
y'all make sure to go check out those links everything will be in the description down below y'all let me know how i did like did i start something like how many of y'all gonna try this like do y'all got the patience to even sit here for an hour and do your lashes your lashes like you get four sets for nine dollars that's one month of sets if you do your lashes every week for nine dollars without the spikes if you add the spikes then it'd probably be like fifteen dollars but who who getting these lashes done not me maybe for like a special occasion like my birthday yeah i really be eating down with the lashes though Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for everybody that commented on my TikTok saying drop the tutorial. I finally made it. Period. Thank you all for 2K subscribers, 3,000 followers on TikTok. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at I am the Ray Imani. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all and 